Our last panellist, Barry Moore, I think you've probably visited and worked in more scientific institutions than anybody I know, from east, west, north, south, east, west centre to Woods Hole and all around. And I think that makes you um, eminently privileged to give us a view about the earth and the earth sciences. So, Barry, please. Well, I'm afraid I might be a little negative. Because yeah, no. <laughs> but not too negative, not yet. Not, right? yet. not yet. But it does remind me of the Apollo 13 astronaut saying, Houston, we have a problem here. Yasa is saying, world, we have a problematique here. We have a, a problem of problems. So in thinking about the future and the world we live in, I'd like to just parse it through the, um, the climate question. And I'd like to break it into three pieces. What we know about our world for sure. What we think we know and what we don't know. What we know for sure is that when Yasa was formed, October of 1972, the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere was 325 parts per million. In the week of October the 14th of this year, it was 392 parts per million. At 392, we're 40% above the pre-industrial CO2 level. We also know for sure that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. We know for sure that it stays a long time in the atmosphere. And we know for sure that the primary reason for the increase is the burning of fossil fuels. And I think we know for sure at least today, the use of fossil fuels is tightly connected with most of the world's economies. Those things we know for sure. What do we think we know? We think the planet is warming. According to the IPC uh, fifth, fourth assessment report, it's very likely that it's due to human activity. That means at a 90% confidence level. Uh, we believe that it will that the warming will cause changes in precipitation. We believe, we know that even if we stabilize CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere, which requires about an 80 percent reduction in the use of fossil fuels, that climate will continue to change. And we believe the climate connection, we believe the climate system is connected to the carbon system. What don't we know? Uh, we don't know if there are going to be changes in the nature of the changes in severe weather or extreme events. But we don't know how sensitive the climate system really is. We don't know the nature of the changes in precipitation. And what we really don't know is what surprises are in store for us. And what we really don't know is how do we swap out the energy system of the planet that is primarily dependent upon fossil fuels and swap in a carbon neutral energy system. We don't know how to do that. And it's a big problem. Right now, wind energy contributes about 2% to electricity. Electrical power demand grows at about 2%. If we don't want to get into further carbon debt, we will have to double the wind energy system of the planet every year just to stay even. If we wanted to offset with nuclear power, the largest nuclear power reactor is in Japan. It's about an eight gigawatt plant. It would require 28 gigawatt planets per year to stay even. Now this is a big problem. And I think we need to look at the world with very clear gas glasses about how big the problem is. And we need not to waste any more time. Thank you.